very good morning children welcome to the online education of class 7 science so dear students i have been i have started the lesson winds storms and cyclones i have been teaching the activities regarding uh, to make you understand different properties of wind okay so we have completed the activity 8.1 in the previous class so today let us go ahead with the next activity that is 8.2 so here the concept is all about high speed winds are accompanied by reduced air pressure so to make you understand we have three activities here so let me explain those activities so let's go for the first activity in the today's class okay so dear students activity number 8.2 so here what you need to do is you have to take a small piece of paper okay so into you have to make it up uh, in the shape of ball so crumple in the sense you have to you know fold it crumple it means fold it uh, small piece of paper in, in the shape of a ball a very smaller shape of ball which should be smaller than the mouth of a bottle any empty bottle okay so the water bottles what you use plastic bottles water bottles which you carry to you know drink water in the schools so such uh, water bottle you have to take empty water bottle so you have to take a piece of paper and you have to crumple it in such a shape that that should uh, take a shape of uh, you know ball so that should pass through the mouth of the bottle in, in such a size you have to make it smaller okay so now hold the empty bucket uh, empty bottle just near your mouth okay so hold the empty bottle on the side and place it uh, you know uh, paper ball just inside the mouth okay so take the empty water bottle so it should be uh, you know on the sides not uh, horizontally you have to take uh, no not vertically you have to take horizontally okay so just bring it in that mouth of the bottle you just open the lid and just bring the bottle near your mouth and uh, near the mouth you just keep place the this paper small size paper ball near the mouth of the this water bottle okay so now what you need to do so you you bring that water bottle very close to your mouth so try blowing try to blow the air the ball to force into the mouth of the bottle so you have to start blowing the air in the mouth of the bottle so that <clears throat> that uh, paper should paper ball should go uh, fast into the bottle inside the bottle it should move in such manner you have to start blowing the air so near the mouth of the bottle so that uh, the ball should force force to move into the bottle so now try to do this activity with bottles of different size so go on doing this experiment with the different sized bottles okay first you take small bottle then you can take the bigger one like that go on doing this experiment with different sized bottles now even you can ask your friends to do this okay so now so you can ask the question yourselves does the paper ball in the uh, paper ball which is present in the mouth of the bottle so does it ca can can be moved by blowing the air into the mouth of the bottle can it move inside okay so you have to think of this question so why is it very difficult for the to force the paper ball to move into the bottle is it difficult for you to move that paper ball into the mouth does it move so for this we will get the question at the end okay now let's go for the activity number 8.3 now okay so here so this activity also the same but here the concept is different you know but uh, finally the this gives the final same answer okay so blow off balloons here something different is there so what you need to do you have to take two different balloons now take two balloons of approximately same size or equal size they should not be one bigger and smaller not like that take two balloons and put a little water inside the balloons okay small amount of water you put it inside the balloon and blow up the balloons okay go on filling the air into it and tie with a thread okay each one of the balloons you tie with a thread so now a string or a thread so now hang these two balloons to a stick okay you have to tie it to a or hang it to a stick okay not to close together you have to leave a, uh, a gap of uh, difference uh, about 8 to 10 centimeter apart okay so that much distance you have to give a gap between the these two balloons and tie it to a one stick so now there is a space between the these two balloons now what do you expect from the balloons now see so what you need to do is so the, there is a gap between these two balloons okay so now you start blowing between the gap of the balloons start blowing air okay so what happens to the balloons what do you expect okay so this is what i am uh, you know questioning you okay so you can do experiment in home also this one so take two balloons and put some water and tie them with a thread and tie it to a stick 
okay and the gap between these two balloons is 8 to 10 cm difference should be there so you start blowing in between the balloons start blowing the air in between the balloons what happens you just make a you know observation let's go for the question uh, activity number 8.4 now so this is the third activity i am teaching now so what do you do so take a paper strip hold a paper take a paper strip and that should be 20 cm long and 3 cm wide length should be 20 cm and their length uh, no width should be only 3 cm width should be there so now hold it with your help of your finger and uh, forefinger hold it with your thumb as well as forefinger put it into your mouth and start blowing the air okay over the paper okay so what happens here so does the paper when you start blowing look at the figure 8.5 so here you, he, the person is blowing the air over a strip of paper he put the you know first little part of the paper beginning part of the paper into the mouth he started uh, playing the you know blowing over the uh, paper okay so does the paper lifts up or bend down you should think about this so you can do the same experiment in home also so start take a strip of paper and start blowing over the paper so does the paper start blowing, coming up or bend down you have to think of it so now let us think of the activities all which we had discussed now 8.2 8.3 8.4 .8 so see le let us have an observation about these three activities and try, try to come to a conclusion so what happens in these two cases and what is the conclusion or what is the final conclusion we get on these activities what is the common thing that let's see here okay so we get the feeling that when the increased wind speed is given for any objects there is it is accompanied by a reduced air pressure whenever you give a increased air okay so increased wind speed if you are providing it is accompanied by pressure is reduced reduced air pressure so let us look at these all activities now so when you blow into the mouth when you blow the uh, air into the mouth of the bottle what happens here the first activity 8.2 uh, no, i was discussing okay so we have taken empty bottle and you put the water paper strip in the shape of uh, ball and started blowing over the ball into the mouth of the bottle so what happened here when you blew the air into the mouth of the bottle the air near the mouth of the bottle has a higher air speed or wind speed okay am i right or not when you blow the air through your mouth into the mouth of the bottle the air near the mouth of the bottle has higher wind speed okay this decreases there is a reduced pressure okay this decreases the pressure near the mouth of the bottle so hence so this decreases the pressure near the bottle so hence what happens here the pressure inside the bottle is more than higher than the pressure near the mouth of the bottle so the air inside the bottle pushes the ball out so that's why the whatever the higher pressure is present no inside the bottle it is higher than the pressure near the bottle because when you give a higher wind speed the pressure near the mouth of the bottle is reduced hence the pressure inside the bottle is more than pressure near the mouth so that's why the paper ball cannot move inside because the higher pressure inside the inside the bottle pushes the you no know, paper ball again to the out means near the mouth of the bottle only it comes it never goes inside the bottle so this is because of reduced pressure near the mouth of the bottle and higher pressure in inside the bottle okay this is about the activity number 8.2 now 8.3 here so what we have taken we have we saw that we blew up uh, you know air between the two balloons which are you know tied by a gap of about 8 to 10 centimeter so at that time what happens these two balloons they move towards each other why this happens how could this happen why they move near towards each other why they why they did not move away from each other this is because so this could happen if the pressure of the air between the balloons were somehow reduced so when you blew with a high speed the pressure between the balloons it is reduced somehow it is reduced between the gap is there no that uh, gap between the these two balloons so it is somehow reduced hence the balloons they uh, what happens there the pressure outside the balloons is higher than pressure between the balloons hence the outside pressure of the balloons push them towards each other so that's why they come near each other and finally activity 8.4 what we have taken we have taken a strip of paper and started blowing over the paper paper strip so what happens there it went upwards it moves upwards paper strip move upwards because this could happen because the blowing over the paper reduces you know, reduces the pressure okay above the paper strip hence it moves uh, what upwards 
okay so it went upwards so dear students now we come to a conclusion that increased wind speed always responsible or accompanied by decreased air pressure okay this is what the conclusion we come to the conclusion okay so dear students i hope you have understood today's concept with different kinds of activities I write down these activities and what is the observation you got it okay even you can do it in home simple activities are there so try to draw the conclusion over here and try to come to a conclusion make and make it understand okay dear students let me come up with the next concept in tomorrow's class thank you and have a nice day